Hi guys, today I am back with a tutorial with the um, Urban Decay um, Oz Great and Powerful Glinda palette. Um, sorry I've been um, away for a while but I've been really busy with a few things um, just in life and I'm back today with this eye look right here. And the lighting's really blue so I hope I don't look too washed out. But I'll show you how I did it and the colours I've used. Um, my lips, I've actually used the Nicki Minaj 2 um, lipstick just to show you what it looks like. But from looking in the camera now, it looks really blue compared to what it looks like um, in real life. So I hope I don't look dead. But obviously you can switch up the lips to whatever you want to use. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get straight into it. And um, the first colour I'm going to use um, is this colour here called Magic. And it is a pale sort of rosy pink and I'm going to use a fluffy brush, pick up a little bit of it and I'm just going to um, put that in the crease as our blending colour and it's just going to help everything that we do put on our eyes sort of blend together. I've noticed as well guys, just as well, um, this lipstick, when um, people wear it on their videos, it looks really um, hard to wear and kind of like they're dead, which is what I think I look like now. But in real life, it actually looks quite nice. It's not so dead, if that makes sense. <laughs> anyway, the next colour I'm going to take with a flat shader brush is um, the Jewel, I'll take it out to show you, um, it's called Aura and I'm going to use the blue duo chrome side, that bit there. And I'm going to pick up some of that on my brush, tap off the excess, and this is going all over the lid um, and into the inner corner, just like this. Yeah, I'm sorry, I promised this to you like ages ago, guys, probably like three weeks ago when I first got it, but um, I've been so busy and I'm back to normal now, so there'll be a load of videos coming up for me to catch up. But yeah, I'm glad to be back. And there'll be a really exciting video coming up soon because it's my birthday next week. So, well, no, not next week, the week after, sorry. Um, and I will be doing a haul on some things I'm getting because I know what I'm getting from some people and I know it's makeup, so I know I love it. Anyway, moving on to the next colour, I'm going to take a small tapered brush, any will do. This is just a MAC one, but I mean anything that's nice and small. And I'm going to go in with the colour South, which is kind of like a grey, taupey kind of colour. Put a little bit of this on my brush and then tap it off. And I'm just going to um, go in the crease. But I'm going to start here and I'm just going to literally put it in the crease slightly, just like this. It kind of turns to purple when you mix it with the pink that was already there. Just like that. And I'm going to leave it like that for now. Then I'm going to go in with the colour. I am trying to get it out for you. Sorry guys. <laughs> so I think it's called Tornado. No, I don't know. It is Tornado, which is this beautiful purple colour with the same brush. I'm just going to pick up some of that on the brush, tap it off again. And I am going to come a little bit closer. And I am going to um, put this in the outer corner. So I'm holding the brush quite far back like this to put a little bit less pressure. And I'm going to start sort of swirling and moving around like so in the outer corner and just stay nice and low for the minute and don't worry if you do get fallout or tidy that up in a minute because you probably will i love urban decay i'm going back into this but i was going to say i love urban decay eyeshadows but i do feel like you get quite a lot of fallout sometimes but i mean that doesn't bother me just wipe it away and i am just um building up that color like so and it should look like this right now. Don't worry, we are going to blend it. Um, then what I'm going to do here, I take a big fluffy brush. This is a 224, but I think Sigma make one the same. And you can get them from anywhere. And I'm just going to lightly pull out my skin and buff around the outside of those lines. So I don't want to remove the colour from the inside. I just want to buff out some of that harshness, like so. 
And excuse my eyebrows, guys. I'm trying to grow them into a new shape, so I'm purposely not plucking them or anything. And then it should look something like this. I'm just going to go back in with the same purple on the same small crease brush. And I'm just going to darken up that tiny little bit there, like so. Then I'm going to go back in with the very first blending brush we used and Magic, which was that light pink. Pick up a tiny bit of that and then again, holding the brush right at the tip so you don't apply too much pressure. I'm just going to go around those edges very, very lightly. And what this is going to do is blend everything together um, and sort of transition it back up like so. Then I'm going to take a small sort of smudgy kind of brush like this. And go back in with South, which was that taupey kind of colour, that grey taupe colour. And just put that under the eye halfway. Like so. Now it's time to clean up a little bit. So to do that, my favourite thing to do is take my powder brush, take it under the eye and just flick away any powder. Like so. And then I'm going to curl my eyelashes. Always, always have to curl my eyelashes. Take some mascara. I'm using L'Oreal Million Lashes. And I'm going to just put a little bit of this on. This is such a pretty eye look, guys. Because I've had this for almost a month now, I have, um, well, actually, I have had it a month. Yeah, I've had it for about a month. Um, I have been wearing this look loose because my uniform at work is purple. So, it really, really goes nicely. And I'm going to put some on my bottom eyelashes too. Of course, you could use the um, Glinda pen um, lip pencil that comes with it if you wanted to as well, as I know this is quite a daring look. Then I'm going to take my Rimmel Cajol in Nude, just the eyeliner. I think um, you can get one from Stila and lots of other places. I think MAC do them too. And I'm just going to do a little bit in my waterline, like so. And that is the finished look, guys. Um, this is my um, Glinda-inspired look. And it's just using the pinks and the purple and the duochrome. And that duochrome colour is really pretty because it shines um, purple lavender next to the purples. But it kind of has a blue iridescence too. So it's really, really pretty. And this is what it looks like. Just in case you want to see. So thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And excuse the hair. I just wanted to get out my face so you could see what I was doing and I hope everyone has a great day and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Mwah.